Hello everyone, Eileen here. It's the weekend and I have a couple of Lavinia Stamps video tutorials for you. One today and hopefully another one for tomorrow. Today I'm doing a Christmas card. It's very quick, very simple to do, but I think that it's rather pretty. Let's get going then. I'm using a piece of multifarious card. Um, I've cut it, uh, folded it and cut it to 14 centimetres in length and it's 13 centimetres in width. And then I've used my X punch, X cut punch, corner punch, just to round off the bottom edges. If you do that, just a tip, do it one corner at a time I've found that that punch really isn't very robust and it won't do two corners together. So then um, I'm taking a piece of copy paper, popping it inside just to protect the inside of the cardstock. I'm using my self-healing mat with a magnetic sheet uh, stuck to it and some magnets that I've uh, had for donkey's years. And I'm taking this lovely stencil from Lavinia Stamps and it's called Ivy. I sort of tried to keep in with the Christmas theme, both not only with the stamps, but also with the stencil and, as you'll see in a moment, the Distress Ink colours that I'm using. Now, the uh, Ivy, I wanted a quite a busy area where the Ivy leaves are quite small because they do vary in size across the stencil. So I'm going for this at the right at the very bottom where there's a fair bit of, uh, of the ivy pattern and taking my magnets, just sticking them down so it gives me a little bit of firmness whilst I'm using the brushes. And the brushes that I'm using are from Sweet Poppy Stencils and I've got three of them here. Uh, two medium-sized ones and a small one and I understand that there'll be more large ones available soon as soon as they come in. Now the colours that I'm using, as I've said, keeping to the Christmas theme, Festive Berries, Evergreen Bough and Iced Spruce. And these three colours were released by Ranger as a set some years ago and they work really well together still. So starting off with the Ice Spruce. And I'm just checking my brush is clean. That one isn't. That one is. That one isn't. <laughs> oh well, as the song goes, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> So we're starting off with the clean one and I'm going just very lightly, uh, my uh, wrist is very loose, the action is very gentle and I'm going up the cardstock starting over on the left hand side facing me just gently if it gets underneath the stencil leaves, the pattern, don't worry about it. It's fine. So I'm going up. I've got up the side and now I'm going across. But I'm not going right to the top because as you know by now, if you follow me, I do like a fade out white space. And this sort of uh, gives it to me. I'm just going to check with my card. Oh, actually, um, I did go to the top with this card. So just ignore what I've just said. Uh, we are going right to the top, okay? <laughs> but the colour is fading slightly as it goes up the card. And then over. Still going with the ice spruce. Not quite over to the other side. I'm just over halfway with that. And then in comes the beautiful evergreen bow. Now I'm going to use the same brush, but just wipe some of the grey off for the ice spruce. 
So a bit of this, so it's a wetter pad, so I want to be careful. Uh, where is it? There it is. So I don't want to go too far over the card. I have got a fair bit of white space in this area, but my other card, the original card I made, I thought wasn't very colourful. So I'm going to add a bit more colour to this one and then show you both of the cards at the end and you can choose whether or not you um, make it more colourful or whether you leave it in the uh, paler colours to begin with. See, so We'll see what it's like. A bit more ice spruce over here, just along the bottom, but not right to the uh, right-hand side. I want to have that ready for the image. So... Let me have a look. Oh yes, that's much more uh, defined than the original one that I did. I don't know if I like it yet. I won't know until the end. So let's move this out of the way. And I'm taking my stamp pad because now I'm onto the stamping. It's a lovely stencil, that. And the first image that I'm stamping is the main image. And this is a beautiful stamp. And it's just called Mary. It's on the Lavinia Stamps website. Under Christmas, of course. <clears throat> it's gorgeous. Inking up with Versifying Clear Nocturne. Gentle tapping. Nice solid image, this one. So it needs to be nicely covered and it will come out beautifully opaque. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what that's like. And then I'm just going to pop the stamp down over onto the right hand side of my card. Like so. Let the ink soak into your cardstock and then gently, gentle pressure. Now I'm going to stand up, give it one more push with the pressure down, up, and there, that's gorgeous. Got a tiny little speck there where I've missed it with the ink, so just going to that over and a bit there yeah that's good I want a bit there I'm such a fuss pot but I can't help it it has to be right it has to be perfect my desk is a total shambles when I've finished because I'm very untidy whilst I'm making the cards but the card itself I like it to be neat and crisp and even like the snow <laughs> okay now I'm going to use um, another stamp, and this is uh, Words from, again, obviously a Lavinia stamp stamp. And the name of this one is, and I have it here, it's called, oh, Logical Christmas Words. And it's lovely. L different fonts, just all different words, but different fonts. And uh, everything that we know and love about a classic Christmas, all on this stamp. I'm going to ink up with the last of my distress inks, the festive berries. There's my husband. I'm filming Kendo. Thank you, Kendo. He's slinking away upstairs now in disgrace. <laughs> oh, I'll make him a cup of tea in a minute and he'll be fine. Now, uh, that's Distress Ink Festive Berries, but I, I don't want the first generation ink, so taking off the first generation and then over we go. Just want to save my stamp um, pad, don't want to get ink on that. 
going to stand up so that I can get a better idea of where I'm stamping. Starting at the top and trying to keep it straight. Press, gentle press, pressure. And then moving it up a bit because I don't want any gaps in this. And then down again and again gentle pressure. So that will be third and fourth generation. It should be enough. Yes, that's lovely. Now, a bit of a cheat this time, I'm afraid, uh, because I haven't got a Lavinia stamp star. So I've taken this star from my stash. So I'm just going to use this one. And it's uh, Black Nocturne again for this one. I'm uh, just going to pop it down. I've got to be very gentle. So it's down and up, not too much pressure, because you'll just splay the polymer out and it will blur the image. So smaller images, they don't need you to be so heavy-handed. Coming along quite nicely. The final thing, because this is a very quick card... is where I start the whacking. And this is the Uni Posca pen in white. It's a bullet shaped tip and it's 0 0.7 millimeters. And I've got my perfect layers to do the whacking with. Now I'm not, I'm going to be quite directional with this. <clears throat> I'm not going to cover up my main image, but I'm going to keep the uh, ink well away. I don't really want to cover um, Joseph, Mary and the baby and donkey in this so just giving a good old whack yes, it's coming out now there we go a bit more there I've been quite heavy-handed, I have to say, uh, but I still like the look that I've got. So, let's see what the difference is. Now, this is the one that I've just made, obviously, and it's quite deep regarding the colour. And this is the one that I made earlier, and that is exactly the same design, as you can see, but I've used paler shades or I haven't been so heavy handed with the brushes so that the inks are, are not quite as deep but uh, to be honest I like them both and they both will do I mean this one the ivy is much more defined than it is on this one so pays your money takes your choice I'll be back tomorrow enjoy your weekend everybody thank you for looking Thank you, really thank you, lots of thank yous for the smashing comments that you leave me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.